Hello and welcome everyone. Thank you very much for joining me today on my latest Liverpool episode on all the transfer news. But really, we'll get straight into the news and the semi-final heartache for England. Oh, there's probably a lot of Irish, Scottish and Welsh supporters of the channel. A lot of them, but that would be very happy tonight. Um, all right, Louis, uh, that would be very happy about the England result. <laughs> but it, England could not do it, really. They... But there's one man in particular that every single Liverpool fan that will be that that will be made up uh, as you can see from the title. Who would have thought it? Dejan Lovren is a World Cup finalist and he's got the potential to come back to Anfield with a World Cup underneath his belt. Everyone, let me know your thoughts if you're made up. For me personally, from how far uh, Dejan Lovren has come. Over the last couple of seasons, I'm so made up for them. I'm gutted for obviously Jordan Henderson and Trent Alexander Arnold. Obviously, he's only played a small couple of games. He only played against obviously Belgium, really, didn't he, everyone? But let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. Aiden Shakiri as well. King Dejan Louis. Let were you made up? He kept obviously. Harry Kane, very quiet in the first half. They were getting a lot of space, as we know when we watch Dejan Lovren, when he doesn't have the best of games. In terms of him, he, he struggles really against the pace, running in behind. But tonight, especially in that second half, the way in which he, he was calm, composed um, on the ball, we've seen that. And he, and he was a Champions League finalist only a couple of weeks ago. And from how far in terms of... There's, there is a lot of critics in terms of Dejan Lovren. I have been one of them uh, in the past. But I tell you what, um, the the way in which he's composed, and as, as Luis just said, played well and um, very calm and composed and was very calm and influenced in terms of that. England really played into the, Dejan Lovren's hands and Croatia's hands in terms of the long ball set pieces. Lovren was winning every single header in the air, everyone, but... Hopefully, he can win the World Cup because, for me, I, especially, um, <laughs> I didn't really, like, I do obviously back every single Liverpool player, and, but you, you see Dejan Lovren over the last 12 months, um, he has answered a lot of critics, he's answered me, and he's answered from what he's obviously happened in the background from his personal level in terms of his, him and his girlfriend, but on the pitch, you can't doubt the lad's quality, and, He's surely got to be Liverpool's first choice partner for Virgil van Dijk next season. Um, I'll, I'll pose that for you as well. But if you look at the stats and everything, I haven't got it up in front of me at the minute. But we, if, I'll, I'll look in further into it so we can talk about it tomorrow in terms of his statistics from a, from a centre-back point of view, everyone. But that's a point of question. For me, I he's got to be our first choice partner for Virgil van Dijk going into next season but I want the, um, Croatia to win especially beating England um, I want them to obviously go on and win the competition I'd love that not in more but especially just in terms of if you think about where Dejan Lovren has come from in his Liverpool career there has been a lot of people that think oh like Dejan Lovren when Dejan Lovren does make a mistake it's very evident that our fan base and, and me is <laughs> a lot of us. Obviously, we, we try and back our players, but when Lovren does make an absolute howler, which he hasn't done in the last 12 months, it might be the odd howler that he has done, but his, his performances have improved. And from him coming in from the international setup, Croatia have not got into that final for no reason. And I really do hope. And defensively, Liverpool played very well from the two centre back positions. And I think. Lovren is very much being helped and influenced in terms of his international um, play and his career play by Virgil van Dijk. Virgil van Dijk has come in and I think Lovren, he has picked up so much from Virgil van Dijk, but it's all down to Dejan Lovren and the way in which he's learned and developed his game most importantly. And hopefully he wins the World Cup and he comes back to Liverpool because... He will have answered a lot of questions because on the world stage, he didn't quite. We didn't quite win the Champions League, but for him, over the last twelve months, there's been no. 
everyone has to be a more improved player um, in terms of Liverpool ranks other than Dejan Lovren. I think there's, there's a couple of shouts anyway, but really everyone let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. I get to them if you're not in live at the minute, but let me know after the video has been uploaded, everyone. But from a point of view of England, I'm absolutely gutted. I'm not going to sit here and say, oh, I... There's a lot. The fan base is very split. Do you support England? Do you not? Um, but for me, I was I was amazed to see Jordan Henderson. I wanted Jordan Henderson, um, to get to a World Cup final, and you could see how much every single one of those England players wanted this, and uh, it's a it's a stepping stone for the England national team, in terms of the under 18s that won the World Cup and the under 20s that won the World Cup, um, obviously Ryan Brewster. Um, he's a World Cup winner at a young international level. I really do feel he will be very much learning from that experience, and we can very much see um, Ryan Brewster break into this England setup in terms of that. Trent, 19, 20 years old, such a young lad. Like Mbappe, you've seen these young players break up and turn up at the World Cup. Rashford, he's got another three World Cups in him. It's great to see from an England point of view. What a hope! The press don't do in terms of the England team is is down down play. We, we we should be made up that England as much as you say do you support England as much, but this England team it has got the country back on side in terms of how much they wanted this as a national team, how much we wanted it as a nation to um win the World Cup. It would have been great for English football. In terms of the game, um, there's a lot of Premier League based players. Um, great to see. You just have to look. Obviously, everyone will laugh and go, obviously, because it's all English based players. But if you look at the Belgium team, if you look at the, obviously the, the Croatian team, Dejan Lovren, there's a whole host of Premier League stars in the knockout stages of the World Cup in the last four. And that's great to see from a commercial point of view. The Premier League is great to see the best players in the knockout stages anyway. Um, but all the best, it'd be a cracking final, I tell you what. Um, but as I started off the show, I, I once would like Croatia to win. I don't think it'll happen, but we're, um, we've had more shocks in football in terms of that. But Deji, uh, Dejan Lovren, go and get it, lads. The World Cup and the Croatian lads, go and get it, lads. But most importantly, from a Liverpool point of view, from what you've been through over the last 12 months, on the pitch, off the pitch, as a footballer, your improvements on the pitch as well. They have helped Liverpool Football Club and that's great to see, lads. Um, and all the best to you in that. But we're going to the Aidan Shaqiri news. Not a lot, but you've probably seen the news in terms of Aidan Shaqiri. Liverpool have expressed their interest, very much so in terms of Paul Joyce, um, James Pearce, all the top journalists in terms of the Aidan Shaqiri move. That is edging very, very, very closer in terms of that, due to the World Cup, obviously the Fekir deal, um, after the World Cup, after Sunday, all the players be coming back from international duty. Hopefully, Jordan Henderson has not picked up, reoccurred that injury in which he did have, obviously in the last game that Gareth Southgate talked about, um, obviously his hamstring injury, hopefully he'll be fit for pre-season. That's what we don't want going into this new season anyway. But everyone, let me know your thoughts. It's great to see, hopefully we do get Aiden Shaqiri in. Won't be a starter, that's most importantly, um, but he's a very good squad player. And he, he's, I think, um, is a, Stoke are very much willing to do deals with Liverpool. It, Stoke are willing to do a deal with Liverpool, most importantly. Um, obviously, he has got his bio clause, but Stoke are very much looking at the deal. And they're looking at Liverpool's youngsters, whether that be Harry Wilson... Um, obviously, Shea Ojo has been um, put into that question as well. Could he get a loan move out in terms of Stoke City? Everyone let me know your thoughts on that. But Aiden Shaqiri, it'd be great to see him at Liverpool Football Club. And I very much think it it's very close to happening and it should happen in the next couple of days. In terms of that potential, it's so exciting and I'm gutted for England. Gutted. But as soon as the international footy is over, we can focus on the real footy and that's the Premier League but I'll tell you what it's it's mad how you were in the pub if you've been at home watching if you've been from wherever you are in the, in, in the UK it's <coughs> apologies everyone it is mad like you've got 
um, United fans, Tottenham fans, City fans, we're all cheering on. Um, forget club rivalry for England. We want the English lads to win the World Cup, but we did not got knocked out with the semi-finals. But I tell you what, give it another four years, and this English team, uh, this England bunch of lads, they've got the confidence now. Jordan Pickford had a fantastic tournament, even if he is an Everton player. Uh, I tell you what, they will struggle to keep hold of that young lad in goal because he's absolutely fantastic goalie. Gutted, really. There's a lot of doubters that about Pickford's display. Is he good enough? Um, but for me, and hopefully he's answered a lot of critics, um, he is a good goalkeeper. Um, he's better, for me personally, I want to know your thoughts in the comment section below, he's better than what Liverpool have got currently at this stage in time. He's a very good ball-playing centre. Uh, centre back. A goalkeeper, but he's a player that's going to help come out. All of them will come up out of the World Cup with their heads held high. And how many times have we talked about that? We, it's very rare that we come out of an English tournament out of a World Cup or a, 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 um, a European uh, game um, for England. Our heads held high. But I'll tell you what, hopefully a lot more young English Liverpool players can break into that. Um, national team set up. Trent is um, it's a struggle to get into that, but it's great that we've got Trent and Trippier. But Trent, even though he wasn't playing a lot of games, he would have um, picked up a lot of great international tournament based football. But I tell you what, just look at that lad in the midfield of the park tonight. Non English, but Luka Modric, everyone. He surely, he, that lad is on an absolute other planet, especially in that second half, the way in which, he, even though England were pumping the ball up very, very much, they were trying to get the ball up, we needed a goal, but Luka Modric in that second half, especially after Croatia got that, that, um, uh, yeah, Maguire, Louis, I know a couple of years, I'll bring, I'll talk about with Maguire, he's had a fantastic tournament, would you take him at Liverpool? Um, I think to be a whole host of uh, clubs, especially in England, looking at Maguire now, they have to. Um, Stone switched off for the goal, the second man do switch goal, but um, there'll, be, there'll be a lot of uh, players looking at, it was almost Trent, it'd be good for his international experience anyway. But uh, Luka Modric, what an absolute player. He'd done it in the Champions League final. Uh, but you've got to admire a talented footballer when you see them. And Luka Modric, there's been no centre mid closer that really I can... I can put up against him over the last five years that has been able to compete in terms of the quality in which um, the Croatian uh, has possessed over the last couple of years. And that's only the case in terms of uh, how many European Cups he's won and he's doing it on the international stage. And I just hope in terms of people will stand up and Luka Modric, since Xavi left the Spanish game, but Luka Modric, what a, what a, you've got to admire a centre mid and a player of his quality. That's the, the cutting edge, really. As soon as Jordan Henderson come off tonight, there was no players, really, to play the ball. Um, Jordan Henderson obviously was injured, uh, as I talked about before, but there was no creativity in terms of midfield. We resorted to long ball football, uh, and the game plan was gone. As soon as uh, Mandutic got in behind, they that's what they were wanting. And that referee did now. I'm not going to sit here and moan about the ref, but the ref... We so didn't like England, like a lot of referees in that tournament anyway, but not that could do a whole. We, but we, England, we got the, we got the semi-finals. We wanted the World Cup final, but we'll be back in four years. And I tell you what, the lads have got every single one of the backing of every Manchester United fan, Liverpool fan, Everton fan. They've, gone, they've done our country proud. I know we wanted the World Cup final, that's what we wanted. We wanted the World Cup, but it's about time an English national team set up have done us proud and the lads have done us proud. We haven't gone into a tournament with, with all Liverpool players um, getting injured and all that. But I think the the thinking in terms of a national team set up, hopefully from a lot of clubs, will understand as much as we don't like English players, especially our, our players going on into to international um, duty, but hopefully this will change your mindset up. Obviously, there'll be a lot easier to be like Liverpool first in terms of that. There's a lot of Irish, Welsh, and as I said, Scottish um, fans that'll be happy tonight. But in terms of that, unlucky England, and we'll come back again. But most importantly, for the, I'll be happy to get my Trent back 
and I'd obviously Jordan Henderson, Captain Fantastic, back in a red shirt for this coming season. That's most important. But everyone, let's get to your comments. Apologies, let's get to them, everyone. Thank you for leaving the comments, everyone. Absolute legends. Um, King Dejan. But shout out to Dejan Lovren. Absolutely made up. Gutted England lost, but they made us proud. Um, Dejan has, uh, has a great games in him. But you know he can have his wobbly ones too. Um, for my money, Gareth needs Klopp's mentality to try and win. Uh, rather than hang on, nothing more. But I think, um, who's that by? I think that's a very important um, comment there, mate. Christian, hopefully you've said that right, mate. It's the mentality of the England managers. And I think in terms of the playing facilities now, a lot of Gareth Southgate's tactics were very Jürgen Klopp-like in terms of bigging his players up, supporting his players. Gareth Southgate knows where... <laughs> definitely knows how to lose a semi-final. Um, he, he's been there. There's no better manager to pick these players up and be like, right, I speak to you, like, right, lads, I've been in your position. I know how hard it is um, to lose a semi-final of a national team setup. But Gareth Southgate has given... He's allowed those players, he's allowed those players to play the way in which they want to play. Not sat in a 4-4-2, park the bus, Mourinho tactics or Sam Allardyce tactics. We've played the way Liverpool play, Spurs play, City play. Attacking, flowing football. You've got centre-backs that are calm and composed on the ball. What Liverpool and City like to do as well as Spurs. You've got a goalkeeper that likes to play uh, around with the back. There was not a lot of times tonight that I was very scared. I know there's probably a lot of you screaming, but we, especially Liverpool, we're used to with the, the centre backs and the goalkeeper. <laughs> um, <laughs> not to mention goalkeepers. Uh, or this video uh, about playing the ball around the back. I think that's the, the great developments in terms of the English game. We we've 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 learnt a lot from the Germans and we've learnt a lot from the Spanish in terms of the ball playing centre backs and they played very well tonight. Everyone. But that was a very good point, Christian. Uh, I think for me personally, Gareth Southgate has took a lot of Jürgen Klopp managerial inspiration to get into that final. Um, hey, it's getting to the semi-finals. Oh, no. That's it. Oh, the England, we all thought that final was ours to go to go and win. But you need to win what's in front of you, game by game. Uh, let's get to your comments, everyone. Um, Maguire would be unreal. Uh, happy to know some England, Engle, uh, English Reds f uh, truly follow England. I, I love the Maguire. I'd get, mm, I'd be the move to United, Chelsea or City. Maguire would be unreal. There's a lot of years that liking Maguire as a centre back. Um, I felt he's really had a great tournament and it's great to see a lot of fans um, have recognised his quality. Uh, hopefully Wilson will get his chance next season. Thomas Hopefully, very much so, mate. We've seen it. Uh, we signed his new contract, which is great at Liverpool Football Club. Hadi Wilson has been a very... He's been a player in which I've, for me personally, watched a lot of. Um, I've gone to see... A, when I have seen a lot... Uh, gone to see a couple of under-21 games, he has been playing. And it's a bit mad. Obviously, he went out a hole um, and a couple of other loan spells in terms of his Liverpool career. But hopefully, this season... Um, as long as Aidan Shakiri he, he sticks around the football club, uh, Harry Wilson. Because um, he will be getting a lot of first-team chances. Gillian, uh, England still has a match to play. Third place playoff. And I hope they beat Belgium. I made up for uh, Dovren and Croatia. I rooted for all countries with one of our players in. And it makes the, lo uh, the loss easier. Very much so. I know, obviously, there'll be a couple of years that watch the video that you'll be like, oh, I'm not really bothered about England. But when you've got your own team players and that Jordan Henderson, he's a Liverpool player, you've got to back him. Um, I wanted that for so much for England and obviously for the country as well. But when you've got your captain, the heart and uh, of Liverpool Football Club playing for his international career, um, Playing for his international career, playing for England, you want him to do well. Any Liverpool players, that's why I love international football. And especially, it could be the fairy tale ending for Dejan Lovren. And I hope it is. It's not been the case for Trent or Henderson, but we support 
our Liverpool lads that are in the final. Um, and hopefully Deji, come on, lads. Come on, big Deji. Um, but yeah. Do, do, do. Um, do, do, do. Um, Scouse Gaming, as I said, mate, Scouse, everyone's entitled to their opinion. There are a lot of you that don't really care about England, and rightly so, you're, you're very much entitled to your opinion, mate. But in terms of Liverpool based players, um, I'm gutted for them. Lock the Sheik or Delph should have came on. Uh, Deli Ali, uh, he was absolutely knackered, wasn't he? In terms of Deli Ali and Lingard. <sighs> I was fuming with uh, Jesse Lingard, but I'm not going to pick players out. But Lingard, in terms of his track and back tonight, he, he was terrible. He was absolutely terrible. The way in which the, the Croatian fullbacks, that's how they pinned England back in terms of... Kept on putting one player down the left-hand side, doubling up in terms of against, obviously, the overlap. So they pinned us back. England weren't allowed to push out. And Lingard and Ali were very much not doing enough in terms of their track and back. If you're not doing much up front, you've got to do your basics, track your runners, and they very much didn't do that. Um, Scouts Gamer, I don't expect you to... We said there is a low... Uh, hopefully... Um, Gillian, I'll read back in the comments now. Um, if he, I will block anyone that um, gives anyone stick anyway, everyone. So keep it nice in the comment section below. Um, please. Um, Wishakiri, Brewster and Maid Wilson, do you think that's enough depth for the front three places? That's from Luke, mate. Thank you very much for your comment, fella. Um, Wishakiri, Brewster and maybe Wilson. It's it's dependent, mate. Shakiri is a very good squad player. As if you just joined the square, the stream, mate. We talked about it before. Um, Shakiri, um, for me personally, mate, when he has played for Switzerland and for Stoke, he was their best player. I know he got relegated, but he he has got potential. Uh, not potential. He's twenty six. He has got bags of quality. I know there's a lot of years that be like, oh, we only crossed the ball on that. But if you're looking at not a carbon copy of Mohamed Salah, but in terms of his playing ability, Aiden Shaqiri, he likes to drive a play. He's very much a clock player. He's very much loves to win the ball up high press. Um, he struggled to do that. when you, if, if anyone watched a bit of Stoke this season, when Shaqiri was playing, he's very much up and uh, probably his own birthday. Very much up and in your face in terms of his uh, attacking and defensive the work rate. Which would be great to see at Liverpool. Um, not been getting the Tottenham fans said he would be the weak link, not tonight. Uh, yeah, that's what I said. Uh, Kristen, for any Scots or Welsh, enjoy your lo <laughs> enjoy the last. But you're in a, uh, you'll never get that far. Hey, you never know. England, we could have been ninety minutes away from getting the uh, to a World Cup final, mate. And I did not. Expect us to get to the semi finals in reality, really? Did we? No, <laughs> no England fan expected us to get um, that close to a final, mate. Do you still see the Fekir deal ha happening, Thomas? Mate, I very much do, as it's Fekir has got more important things on his case at the minute. As much as he would like to join Liverpool, done his interview and all that, we know the stories, don't we, Thomas? And everyone that will be getting sorted hopefully after the World Cup. Priorities will be coming. He's got a World Cup final that he's got to sort with. If he does play, if he doesn't, he's got to back his mates um, and hopefully win the potential. We could potentially have another World Cup winner coming in in Fekir. That'd be great. Um, um, but Thomas, very much so, mate. If it's not going to happen, then obviously he's got a final to, to deal with and get that out the way. And as soon as that final's out the way and the third place playoffs are all sorted, the club... Um, managers will be absolutely made up. I know a lot of them say they don't like international football, and that's probably the case if you are um, a club-based manager, whether that's Liverpool, Tottenham, United, Spurs, Chelsea, you just don't like international football. You might not, not from their self selfish point of view, but they get paid to really get get their players in training for pre-season, get them all fully fit. That's most important as well. Um. Uh, Gillian, I really rate Pickford. 
can we run over the park and nab him? <laughs> I, I, I would, I'd be very for that. I know a lot of you um, would not be, but for me, I really do rate Pickford as a goalkeeper. Um, as much as he do, does play for Everton, gutted. <laughs> um, but Liverpool passed up their chance, didn't we? Uh, Gillian and everyone, like, Liverpool did get offered Pickford. Um, I think that's... And Liverpool, like Dali Ali, like a lot of players, like Ronaldo in the past, Liverpool did turn the noses up at the potential deal to bring Pickford in. And there'd be a lot of years, like, going, yeah, rightly so, we turned the noses up. But for me personally, from point of view, I really do rate the young lads, and he's got a huge career ahead of him. Uh, Stephen O'Connor, what do you make of the Caddius situation, mate? I know the, that he's getting a barrage of abuse and it's not nice to see, but surely we can stick with him. This this could be make or break our season for Jack. Stephen, if you haven't seen my video, mate, I've done one last night. Um, I won't go a lot in depth anyway, mate, but um, as Liverpool Football Club, as much as I don't like to see goalkeepers... Uh, make mistakes, especially obviously in Champions League, but the absolute stick of abuse. But it's only on Twitter. Don't look to Twitter, mate, um, Stephen and everyone. Uh, and don't look. It's a false representation of Liverpool Football Club fans. Key bunch of keyboard warriors. Anyone can say anything online. Um, but some of the posts I've seen, um, they are not Liverpool Football Club fans. Right, we'll get that straight and forward. They are just a bunch of keyboard warriors. I haven't got... I can understand where they're coming from, but I, I don't understand the, the the abuse to the lads. He's a footballer and he's trying his best at Liverpool Football Club. Yes, everyone makes mistakes and it's not good to see in the Champions League final, but that does not warrant the absolute sickening um, stuff I've seen online. And I've mainly why I've stayed off Twitter today, because I'm sick of tired. Obviously, yeah, you cannot like Caddis, but there's way, ways to go about supporting your players. But every single player that is a Liverpool football club is going to be getting and has and will get the backing of every single Liverpool fan at our football club. Because that's what we do. Um, we back our players as much as, like Dejan Lovren, as I said, there was a lot of player, people um, prior to the last 12 months. I was one of them that really did feel Dejan Lovren should have really got pushed on, um, moved on and we need another centre-back. But I tell you what, Dejan Novren, the last 12 months, is like a Lucas Lieve, there was a lot of people that wanted Lucas out of the club. There's still even people, at the um, fans that didn't really take to Lucas, even when he was playing absolutely amazing before his injury. There's going to be fans, um, rightly so, everyone's got their opinion, um, but it's put your opinion um, in the right way. And and uh, constructed criticism, not Barada's abuse. Um, it's only small sections, and it's Twitter anyway. As Twitter can be nasty place anyway, as we all already. If you're on Twitter, you already know. But we back our players, Thomas mate, um, Stephen mate. So go and check me, um, video out from yesterday mate. If you haven't seen it, I I, I had my thoughts on that. But at the minute, there's no current great goalkeepers. There's a lot of names, but at the minute. Wouldn't doesn't look like, and whatever Jurgen Klopp wants to do, every single one of us will back the manager and his de decisions at the football club, because the decisions in which he's made at this football club have not gone very badly, have they, everyone? So that's the most important thing. Get behind Klopp. If Jurgen Klopp wants Cadius a football at the football club, and is his first choice um number one, Jurgen, go ahead, lads. That's the best decision for football. If Jürgen thinks it is, then every single one of us as fans should very much back Jürgen's decision. I think we all do, really, in terms of that, everyone. Let's get to your comments. Um, doo -doo. But, uh, nice one, Stephen, for your comments. How close is the Shaqiri deal levy? Um, obviously, the World Cup, I think after the World Cup, mate, all every national team, every single national team set up. Obviously, Switzerland's out of the World Cup, mate. But Liverpool have officially, um, in terms of, they have expressed an interest, mate. Um, expect, not saying anything set in concrete, but it does make sense that Liverpool are interested in this player. Um, like a whole host of players, but Aiden Shaqiri would like to do a deal. Um, from what I'm reading from James Pearce and a lot of other 
credible journalist we've seen it with the Fekir deal but watch this space everyone the Shakiri deal there's no doubting if any other clubs coming for him and if Liverpool do want the, this the, the Shakiri, the deal will be getting done um but just focus on the full teammates and um, that's the most important thoughts on the goalkeeper situation mate five times TV um as I've already said mate um just said a little bit about the mates but uh, go and check my video out that I done last night if you haven't seen that uh, five times and anyone really in terms of uh, Lloyd Caddies because uh, it is driving bait but I don't want to be sitting here slagging off our players because that's not what we do as fans um, yet yeah, at the moment at that stage in time but it's a tram year friendly everyone it's pre-season back our players in a pre-season friendly I know he's made some mistakes but I know a lot of you I'll be like yeah but he's made his mistakes. Everyone makes mistakes in life. Deja Lovren is pull is he's he become the Croatian Maldini at the minute. <laughs> he, he's turned his career around. Lucas turned his career around. David Agu, biggest biggest priority goalkeeper. One of the world. He is the world's best goalkeeper. He turned his career around, and hopefully Loris Karius, he's going to be getting the back end of Liverpool Football Club fans and the football club. Whether we bring in a first choice goalkeeper, that that could be the case. And if we do, Lloris Carriers can compete. And whoever, if it's not Black, Allison, there's a lot of names, but there is money there to be spent. But whatever Jurgen Klopp wants to do, every single one of us will back him to the hilt. Carriers should still be Liverpool's number one. Who would you buy? Danny Ward be playing better. Um, Arthur, mate, I, I, I'm surprised. A lot of us are very surprised that, obviously, Wardy has not been getting given the chance. I would have expected Ward to be getting a chance, mate, um, especially in pre-season. But as a, as I think, if Ward doesn't get a pre-season game under his belt, um, obviously, he did play the first half of uh, yesterday's match. Um, Caddy's come on in the second half. But hopefully, uh, Wardy can be getting given his chance. But... There's a lot of people out there that are like, yeah, Wardy's a championship goalkeeper. Um, I think that's very disrespectful in terms of his playing ability because really, Ward cannot be getting... Um, you can't question Ward's ability until he has played for Liverpool Football Club in the Premier League and he's had a proper run and go at the at the, um, at the the at the club. Um, I'd love for him to get a good, a good run at the football club, mate. Very much a case Mignolet will be going. So, if we don't bring anyone in and Wardy is back up, there'll be a couple of years where, like, uh, rightly so, he's all entitled to your opinion. That's why I do my channel. Everyone's got the bunch of opinions anyway. Um, um, but very much. Uh, thanks, mate. Great content. Keep it up, Thomas. Cheers, mate. We really do appreciate it. Sorry, I've, I've only just come in from the um, from all the lads. We from you the match. Um I would have had a musical set up, but I just wanted to go straight to you anyway. But uh really do appreciate everyone for tuning in. Um the absolute legends. Um I hope we give some chances to Danny Ward this season. Kristen uh, very much does see the the, the perceptors um uh, the consensus um of giving Danny Ward a lot of years are and a lot of like me and a lot of yous give Danny Ward a chance as well. What has the lad got to do with the football club? Do you think the Fekir deal will be good? Uh, Ryan, if you haven't seen it, mate, I did talk about the Fekir deal. That should be getting sorted after the World Cup, mate. He's got a World Cup to think about, mate. His agent might be sorting in the background, but from him, I wouldn't expect Fekir to be worrying about a transfer. He will after the World Cup. If you win it, hopefully Dej Dejan Lovren wins the World Cup. Come on, Deji. Dejan, uh, win the World Cup. Imagine the scenes. Imagine the scenes. Dejan Lovren walks in. He might upset uh, Edison and Trent, but uh, if he walks in, um, that will answer a lot of critics. Me as well. Um, that have questioned Dejan Lovren's um, quality. If he walks in and he's pictured in his Liverpool shirt with the World Cup underneath his arm, that would be absolutely lovely. And it would be amazing from him from a personal point of view. And as he has improved. He has improved so much. It's credit to the lads and the Croatian lads as well. Um, thanks, mate. Uh, Jack, absolutely right. But the Welsh, Irish, Scots do well to qualify. However, much they hate us English. 
uh, it'd be bad tournaments. Let's get along and our good ones. Hey, mates, we're all we're all mates as much as as um we do. I love every single Welsh, Irish, English scouser as well. <laughs> um, fan of my channel, so it's amazing. I love you all. That's why amazing. That's why I love doing our channel, and we all love. Uh, the most important thing is Liverpool Football Club. Um, we we all have different nationalities, and it's mad. And that's why football brings Liverpool, especially Liverpool, brings everyone together. And that's absolutely boss. Um, and that's why I love doing me, the, me, me content and just talking to you. That's why I love speaking to every single one of you now. Um, just speaking like mates in the pub or whatever. Um, it's great. That's why I love my channel. Speaking to every single one of you, mate. Uh, Andrew Quinn. Uh, um, the minister said, Fecky uh, met with Leon President. And uh, plus, uh, apologies, miss. Uh, and let's talks revive and i was greeted him to talks will revive after the world cup fekir still wants liverpool andrew a uh, nice one for the comment mate very much the consensus in terms of the fekirs will be getting sources everyone uh will be as um jack if you had to choose lovren a world cup winner or us signing maguire eh uh, both of them have had a fantastic tournament, mate. But the one player that's in the World Cup, mate, is Dejan Lovren. As much as Maguire is, um, he surprised a lot of people, and I think to be a lot of, as it has been speaking to us, uh, um, over the last couple of weeks. Um, uh, pause everyone. I was getting there. I was reading the comments. <laughs> um, but yeah, mate. Uh, Kristen, um, completely lost my train of thought. Apologies, everyone. But right, yeah, Lovren is in a World Cup final. Maguire has come so far over the last... Is, um, he's been a great signing. Um, he was at Hull City, wasn't he? But I think that's been an absolute steal from Leicester. And there'll be a lot of suitors coming after Maguire. Really, he's a class centre-back. He's a no-nonsense um, centre-back. Keeps it real. He, he, but the quality is really there. And it wouldn't surprise me if Liverpool did go in for him. Even though we have got Dejan Lovren at the football club, um, you cannot ever have enough good centre backs and enough good right backs or left backs. Liverpool need as much squad depth, and that meant bringing Maguire in. I think there'll be a lot of takers for Maguire because he's had a fantastic tournament, and even for Leicester this season, he's absolutely quality. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, it real, Jack. It's real. Real views. Sorry, Spurs. I love you. It's okay. <laughs> nice one, mate. Uh, Jordan. Stevie. Oh, nice. On Jack. Cheers, mate. I'll check this video out. Nice one, mate. Really do appreciate it. I think I'm going to have to go in three minutes. I'll take it up to 40 minutes, everyone. If you've got any last minute questions that you want to drop in there, you're absolute legends. And you can drop a like on the video. You're absolute legends. These are all legends. Every single one of my subscribers. Appreciate all your love and support, and I'm getting stuck into all this. I I know I don't do as much transfer news anyway, but we all do love a transfer. But I just can't wait for the Reds to start playing footy. Obviously, we've had our preseason friendlies, but the the most important thing is us playing in the Premier League and the Champions League. That's the most important, and I can't wait till the Reds are back in action properly. Is Liverpool going to get a Juve player? I think Gary. I think you mean, you mean Dybala. Gary, don't read too much into that, mate. Yeah, I think, obviously, I've done a new show a couple of weeks back, properly, a couple of weeks back in terms of that. The quality, the Dybala, he's very much quality. Juventus, I've got Cristiano Ronaldo. Quickly touch on that. What an absolute bargain basement price um, from Real Madrid. They are rubbing their hands because they got 100, £105 million pounds for the 33-year-old Ronaldo. Um and it's great to see um all the United fans um they he was still on loan one at Real Madrid um it's mad that he's moved to Juventus and uh, he's no longer on loan at, at uh, Real Madrid <laughs> um but yeah it's gonna be mad uh, you never walk alone Jordan and thank you very much everyone you absolute legends for tuning in if you've dropped in on a live stream go and check the video out but Dejan Lovren well played lads. Jordan, commiserations for Jordan Henson and Trent Alexander Arnold. We wanted our English lads for me personally. There's a lot, probably a lot of Scottish, Irish, and Welsh. 
um, viewers watching this video, that'd be absolutely made up. I know there will be, but unlucky England to those two lads anyway. But Dejan Lovren, if you beat England, go and win this World Cup. And I want to see you at Anfield. I want to say, who would have said it, everyone? Dejan Lovren is 90 minutes away from winning, from being a World Cup winner. Yeah, you, it's madness. But well played, Dejan Lovren, lad, tonight. Go and get that World Cup final. And you can be our potential and should be for me personally. Everyone, get me uh, your thoughts in the comment section below. After the video has been uploaded, he should be our first choice centre back. Him and Dejan, uh, uh, Virgil van Dijk, those two being absolutely class. And hopefully they can improve even more on last season, this season. But everyone, nice one. Have a quality rest of your night. Gutted for England, but we go again in the next international tournament. Got a young, bunch of young lads that have done the country proud. Um, um, Josh Kenny, Paolo Dabale is a big miss. Uh, yeah, but nice one, everyone, for tuning in. Uh, see you later, everyone, and thank you. And you'll never walk alone. Come on, Dejan Lovren.